Going back to Sunday real quick, um, soccer is a beautiful game, also can be kind of a cruel game. Lots of good things happen Sunday, but at the same time, was it one of those games that maybe felt like a loss, even though it was a draw? Um, it, I thought it felt like a loss, just for the fact that they treated it like it was the best game they'd ever played. Like, they thought in their minds it was almost like a win, even though it was a tie, so it was definitely more of a loss to us. I thought. Yeah, I think, um, like, like Rob was saying, even, we played well. We really did. We had 31 shots on goal. I think 13 corners. Uh, Youngstown had zero corner kicks and, like, maybe 11 shots on goal. Um, so, clearly, we outplayed them in the stats and everything. Um, and also, I think we played well on the field. We were connecting, switching the field. So, I don't know if I would say it necessarily felt like a loss to our team. I don't know. I mean, it was really frustrating that we didn't capitalize on our opportunities that we had. But I think um, it was a good building experience for our team as well going into Penn State this weekend. Yeah. Megan, as someone that's a defender and plays a lot of corners, you know, there were a lot of good opportunities off corners on Sunday. Do you take more pride in setting up those chances or maybe not giving up a corner? Um, I would say not giving up a corner more just because if you go a whole game without giving up a corner, that really shows that you're doing a good job defensively and you're keeping the ball down in their end and then you can create the corners so more often than not. So. As sophomores, you guys have been through the wars now one year. Uh, what did you observe last year about the way things changed once conference play started, the intensity, the competition? Krista? It's a big change. Yeah. <laughs> um, definitely. I mean, it's Big Ten, great conference. Every team is good. Um, so I think, and not that the teams that we've been playing so far in this like yeah. preseason of the Big Ten aren't good. They are very good teams, but they're not Penn State. They're not um, Maryland. It's just a like whole, kind of whole new level. Like, it is. The speed of play, speed of play, pressure, intensity. Just like Rob said, we have to just accept the fact that it's going to be harder work than we put in at the beginning of the season. Yeah. Like, yeah, in a in a way, is it good to start against Penn State to kind of measure yourself at, against the best, and also not to have to play them late in the year when you, maybe you need points? Yeah, I think. Um, I mean. It, you can look at it both ways. Obviously, I feel like we have to look at it in a positive way and like say, like, hey, like Penn State's probably one of our toughest competitions in the Big Ten, so let's face it early and move on. You know, like hopefully we'll come out with a win. Obviously, we want that. But if things don't go our way, like we can move on because we know that like there are a lot of teams in this conference that we can beat and like hang with. You know, so I think um, hopefully moving on to those opportunities. Like again, hopefully we beat Penn State at where we have the potential. Even if do. we did get a loss, we've already showed that we can come back from a loss. We yeah. lost our first game of the season and only won four in a row, so right. there's nothing that, yeah. Very true. Lastly, uh, three different goalkeepers have already started this season, which is kind of rare this early in the year. As field players, does it take a little bit of adjustment for you guys to get used to who's in goal? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lots of communication has to happen between us and the goalkeeper. Yeah, um, I know like as a midfielder, I, you can talk about defense, but when we take goal kicks, like uh, all of our goalies kind of have different capabilities, I think, in kicking strength. Ranges. So like when Jan was in this past weekend, um, it was more, we did more of a kind of press up high and like me and Molly were supposed to be the targets more. Um, so I think also talk, like Megan said, a lot of communication and getting Jan to like find us versus kicking it wide, which I know we practice a lot in practice, but sometimes you have to adjust to the game and you know, just getting her like, hey, like look for your targets, look for the people who head on the team versus mm -hmm. sending it wide to like telling, people that don't head. Telling the person who you're yeah. looking for that you're gonna play the ball to them. Yeah. Calling out their name before you kick it kind of thing. Yeah. So.